so uh, now let us see example for our uh, even binding so what i have done is i have created an input element okay and in that uh, i have something called whenever the user presses click i want the click handler in the component to be called okay whenever the user presses on click this event i am registering this function click handler which is present in the component to be uh, called okay let me write uh, click handler in uh, my uh, component so let me add something called click handler so let me have a console log and i will add something called button click So now we have added uh, something, some function in the component and in HTML, I've added something called, I've added a button with value submit and whenever it presses click, it will be calling the click handler. So let me see in uh, our browser how it works. Now we have a submit button. Okay, good. And uh, let me open the console so that we are able to see whether we will check whether we are able to see console message so you are able to see right so whenever the user presses on submit in the view it will call the uh, click handler which is printing the button click okay so uh, one more thing you can do so to uh, see the event to understand the event you can also call dollar event okay you can make use this is what uh, the angular exposes uh, when it when a user wants to know about the event so this also you can pass it on the click handler so that you can see understand about the event where it was pressed and how it was pressed what type of element it was pressed on so you can you will have a dollar event here you get it in dollar event and you can also print it to see that event so let me do it now so if you press it now it will also tell you about what type of event what was it was a mouse event and in which coordinates it was pressed and all that so if you want it you can use it so this is our even binding i hope you understood so so similarly we did it for click we can do it for uh, almost all events in the dom element for the dom element what all events are present we can do it for everything okay so till now whatever we saw was a single binding that is from uh, Component to view or from view to component single way binding. Now, um, now uh, is uh, two way binding possible in Angular? Yes, it is possible. We have to combine the both. The solution is we have to combine both. Event and property binding both has to be combined so uh, if you want to do it maybe consider this case i will just copy paste this okay in my uh, html just i'll go write this okay so here I have combined both. If you see that, maybe I will add a username there. A, B, C, something. Okay. Okay. What I have done here is. 
first I've created a property binding. Okay, this we saw separately, I think. So we have created a property binding. First, uh, I I am requesting the value from username from the component to be uh, binded to the value property in my input element. So it will bind the value ABC. This will happen. But other thing I want is whenever the user changes this uh, text element, okay. I want the value of username to be changed. Value of this username to be changed. If he changes ABC to XYZ, I want the value uh, of this of the username which is present in the component to be changed. So uh, till now we are seeing property binding that is component username abc will be passed on to the view but uh, how to bind this value if the user changes anything in the input type how we can bind it to the value username present in the component for that what i have done whenever the user changes the input okay so i am using the input event which is present on the on this dom element so whenever the user changes the input element i uh, i i am uh, adding a listener for this maybe uh, here i have, what i have said is you uh, set the username to the event whatever event dot target dot value so event dot target dot value if you see maybe to understand better i will write a function for this so I will add a function here input change I will add a function here and I will pass the event so this input change I will uh, add it in the component get the event from this input okay so here I will uh, change the username to whatever the user has changed from this event I can get it using event dot target dot value So here I have to use this because it is a class and I have to access the object. So I will also console log the event so that I can show you uh, how target dot value comes up target. Okay. So we will print event. And uh, if you see, in, I have also created an interpolation so that you can see the value. So this value is binded to the component. So whenever uh, the component changes, the value of username will be uh, displayed to the user. Okay, let me see that in browser. So, so ABC is the default value which is being present in the component and we are seeing it. Now we have also created a event binding. So whenever it changes, when the, whenever the user changes, I am also changing the username which is present in the component. Since the username is changed, you are also seeing the change in the interpolation. I have also pr um, printed the event value. I will show you that. So whenever the user changes the input element, this will be changed. You, you uh, go to the target event dot target dot value you will see the change value okay pqr stuvm it will be somewhere here so value you will see the change value 
what the user has changed that value will be present using this we are changing the username in the component okay so uh, by this we have created a two way binding okay you understand right uh, component to view and view to component okay by this way we have created there is one more way we can create a two way binding so angular has provided something called ng model using which we can easily create a two way binding so let me put this so if you put this so the syntax is we have to combine both and ng model and username okay you will see this i have not created the even binding property binding is all created internally so if you do like this okay so here if you see we have not created any uh, separately uh, even binding for the input yeah, nothing like that so internally angular creates it okay so if you let me see in browser you will see the change okay you are able to see whatever is getting changed the user changes he is able to see it in our interpolation so two way binding automatically works with these with this simple statement okay okay this is provided by angular to make your developer life easier rather than writing even property binding yourself you can just use this so this takes care of taking the value from the component and whenever the value changes in the input element it will automatically update the username so internally what it boils down to is will, uh, so internally it gets converted like this okay internally it gets converted so though the uh, developer can write it like this the internally it gets converted to like this okay you can also use this it gets converted like this okay so we have something called ng model which takes care of property binding username uh, value will be binded to the username in the component will be binded to the value present in the input element and then whenever the mo ng model changes username will be binded to the event okay so this is what it gets converted to it is just for more understanding okay so it is <clears throat> it is just require it is just enough to write it like this but to uh, to understand it gets converted internally like this ng model and ng model change so if you see it in browser now it will also work okay so uh, I, that's it what i have so i think uh, people uh, you understood what is a binding simple binding in angular thank you